Good morning, everyone. My name is Arkady Freckman. I'm a personal injury lawyer here in New York City. And today I wanted to talk about what is a summary jury trial. In New York City, a summary jury trial is a one day trial that both parties have to agree to. So it actually takes more than one day because the first day the lawyers spend time in voir dire selecting a jury. And usually in the jury selection process, the rules are the same as they are for a regular trial. So there aren't too many time limits and you can take an entire day or even more than a day to pick your jury. The next day you have to do the trial. And the way the trial works is each side has a limited amount of time. I think usually it's 10 minutes to present an opening statement. Thereafter, you will have as a plaintiff's attorney, one hour to put your client up on the stand or depending on the county, sometimes Brooklyn, Queens, and Bronx have slightly different rules, but for the most part, you have about one hour. And so you can put your client on the stand, ask them questions, that's known as a direct examination, and your client will tell you how the accident happened, uh, what their injuries are, and what other, uh, how it impacted their life, and other questions that you ask the client. So that is a direct examination. Then, instead of calling a doctor to testify, what you will do is you will have another hour to present medical evidence. So you exchange a packet of all the medical records and you can also use demonstrative evidence usually as long as both sides agree or you could do an evidentiary hearing where the judge will rule on what is allowed. And so what you could do is you could show spinal models, you could show um, what a herniated disc is, you could show visualizations and that's very powerful. So, uh, and then of course you can go through the medical records and explain the diagnostic uh, testing results, such as the MRI results, the x-ray results, the um, EMG results, things like that. And the other side, uh, the defense will have an opportunity to present, usually what they present is their IME doctor, the defense medical exam, and what those doctors have found. So you have that opportunity. And then um, each side has an opportunity to do a closing argument, and usually that's about 10 or 15 minutes where you summarize, um, you marshal all the evidence, you summarize what the you believe you have proved, and, what, and then you go through the verdict sheet. So you'll have a, a quick charge conference with the judge. A lot of judges will get it all done before lunch. Usually uh, in Brooklyn, for example, they take lunch at 1 p.m. So they'll try to get everything done before lunch, and then maybe you'll sum up after lunch, and then uh, the, 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 the judge will instruct the jury, and then the jury will go out and deliberate. So... That's what a summary jury trial is. I mean, for our firm, what we usually do is we agree to summary jury trials on the smaller cases, like the if we can't settle a $25,000 policy case and it's in suit, we'll agree to a summary jury trial, $50,000, maybe $100,000 for the most part. Once in a while, if a case has an issue, we might agree to a higher amount, especially if there's a high low. A high low usually means that there will be a low, even if there's a defense verdict and the jury allows for zero, you'll still get something on the low. And then a high will usually be, you know, if the jury says, oh, I'm going to give you $100 million. Well, no, there's going to be a high. So you, you just put in the high and the low, and then, and then that kind of gives you some protection. And the high is usually something below the insurance limit. So it's like 100000 The high might be like ninety. So you're giving them a little bit there. And then, but on the low, they might give you fifteen. So in case you get a defense verdict, you don't get kicked out of court with nothing. So at least you get some kind of protection there. So I mean, usually we do it on the smaller cases. The problem with doing it on the larger cases is you, you, you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know like if the judge is really strict and doesn't give you enough time, you just don't have enough time to explain everything the way you would if you call the doctor, if you had a full direct examination or cross-examination of the defense doctor. You also will get limited in your closing and your opening. Some judges are very strict. They'll, they'll run a clock and as soon as your time is up, they'll say, that's it, counselor, sit down. And you, and you just you, you want to explain something else that you just don't have the opportunity to do. So that makes it a little bit unfair. So usually we'll agree to it on the smaller cases. And I think that's what a lot of firms are doing. But the good thing about summary jury trials is that they, they're expeditious, right? They get the case resolved because a lot of these um, cases, you'll file a note of issue and you'll certify that you're ready to go to trial. But despite that, you'll just be on the calendar. Like in the Bronx, you could be in the trial calendar for years and years. And especially now with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, there really aren't any uh, full trials going, although some summary jury trials have started to go. We actually did one in, in uh, March of 2021. 20, uh, so they're starting to go. And, and so it's a really good venue to get these smaller cases resolved quickly and expeditiously. 
So I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if you have any questions, but the summary jury trial is a new thing that they're doing. And actually even like right now in, in March of uh, 2021, we, we just did one and maybe I'll do another video and talk about some of the um, post COVID uh, trial procedures. Okay, talk to you soon, have a great day and um, stay safe out there. Okay, bye-bye everyone.